All right, guys, you will have already done a um, little practice sheet like this where you did a value scale at the top and where you shaded in a sphere and the background. And so we've already talked about this a little bit, but we're going to practice it a little bit more by doing this worksheet. The object of the game is to develop control, develop a strong eye, one that is capable of viewing seeing, observing, uh, minute details. And so we're going to do this, and like I said, you've already done a value scale, so uh, you should know, you know your different values. And this, is, this shows five here, but the, there's a lot more than that. Um, I'm gonna use this uh, mechanical pencil because I know a lot of you use mechanical pencils. And I just want to show you how to get started and how to shade on this. Now, um, we've already talked about drawing a lot, and we have used line, and we've talked about not having any outlines. So as I draw this, I'm going to use a very light outline in the hopes that that outline will eventually disappear while I'm shading. But I'm also going to um, use some of the other tricks and techniques that I've learned, like dropping a plumb line, or the quadrant method, or siding angles. So I'm kind of like looking at what halfway here is. I'm going to look over here and do this, uh, divide this in half, uh, divide it in half this way. And that way I can make sure that I size this up to this size. Notice this is small, this is large. So if I look at this, if this is right, if I've got this divided in half, look at where this is compared to this. Pretty close there. You look at the angle. Look at the size. Look at where this is compared to the center. Um, if this is the center of the of this distance, and this is a little bit below it. This is the center of that distance. This is a little bit below it. That worked out well. Over here, we have this. I'm not going to go to this quadrant until I'm done with this quadrant. Uh, we have this line right here, which goes this way, but it doesn't cross that line. Again, you can cite your angles and make sure you're doing it right. Uh, look at the distance between here and here, the, the left side and the middle, and look at where that is. Find the middle here of that line. So if this is the middle, and this is about right, right there. Uh, I'm going to come down to that line a little bit, but I'm not going to cross it. I'm still working on this quadrant. Um, this is the middle. It kind of goes on that line right there. So I don't have to worry about that too much. Over here, there is sort of a V-shape, a sideways V-shape. Uh, I'm going to alter this a little bit just to make it more the way I think it should uh, do to look like this. You know what? I really don't like that too much. I'm going to make that a little bit larger. Remember, use all of the things that you have learned before in this class. I'm going to just raise this up a little bit. I think it makes it a little bit better. Gives me a little bit more space. Look at where the middle of this line from here, from the middle, to the right is, where's the middle of it? That's a little bit to the right of the middle. So here's the middle here, this is a little bit to the right. This goes straight up and down, parallel with this. This line comes over, curves ever so slightly and meets up with it. And then this curves ever so slightly and meets that part. And in order to make this curve, I kind of need to go and change things. Make this curve and then come to right there. And you can see how I, I do believe this is making this look a little bit better. It's, it's hardly ever right the first time around. Have an eraser handy so you can erase whatever needs erasing. This edge seems to kind of go right along 
there a little bit. Comes down, look at the angle of this piece. Match it over here. You want to build that strong eye. Look for all of these details. This is not parallel with this, so don't make it parallel with that. This then curls down right there. By the way, I drew this through. You can't actually see part of this. I just know that it does that. Um, but then this part actually curls down a little bit. This part curls down a lot, and look how far it is from the middle. If this is the middle, it should be like over here some. And look at how far down. Uh, some of you might be saying, you know, that drawing this little piece of paper here is boring. And it might be. Maybe this is not the most exciting subject matter, but we're not trying to draw exciting subject matter right now. We're trying to get better at what we do. Sometimes we got to draw some really simple things. Some of you should be thinking, the good Lord, we're not actually doing um, a landscape yet or faces yet, which are obviously much more exciting. And there I go. I got most of the paper drawn. Now I'm going to erase this part. I don't want to get confused later on with that. Erase that part where I drew through. And then there is also a shadow that I want to look at. And that shadow pretty simply goes right through here, kind of curves away from the strip of paper. And it doesn't meet up with this corner. It, it's a, a little bit more to the left. Let me erase a little bit right there so you can see. It's a little bit to the left of the end of that, or to the left of that corner. Later on, don't don't get your shadows and your paper confused. You need to keep looking at this thing like at all times to make sure you're doing what you see in front of you. Don't make anything up. All the information is right here. Again, this is just part of the shadow, and it's a very soft line over here. Uh, soft edge. This one down here is a little bit more of a hard edge. And then a soft edge. Hard edge in there, soft edge out there. All right, now here's the moment we've been waiting for. I want to start shading this in. Nothing in this picture is white. There's not a white spot anywhere in this picture. This is white. This is not. So even all of this up here is going to be shaded. When we shade, we're going to start out real light. You probably can't even see that on the on the camera, but I'm just kind of like making little scribbly motions. And I'm just going to take my time and fill it in. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me give you a little philosophy here about taking your time, working hard while I'm doing this. You want to take your time with this. You want to not rush it. You want to be patient with it. Slowly, slowly build it up. You can always uh, erase it if you need to. Uh, you can always make it darker if you want to, but it's harder to erase it sometimes. So don't get too dark too fast. Um, but let me tell you, you want to use your time wisely. That means you need to be continuously working. Uh, don't stop to look at your cell phone. Don't stop to take a nap or don't stop to rest. You can do that when you get home. But right now you need to be working and as long as you're working with the time that you have, you'll get this project done. You'll get all the projects done as long as you're working. You've got to be constantly, consistently working, but not rushing. There's a difference between working and rushing. Don't rush it, but be continuously working and you'll get it done on time. All right, so see how I'm filling this, this corner in here? Um, I want to get rid of like any outlines, and there's still sort of an outline right here. But it will disappear. I'll, let me show you how it's going to disappear. Right here, there's a shadow on the edge of the paper. So I'm going to start filling this in a little bit darker. It's a little soft uh, circular motion, just soft scribble.
and I'm letting up on the pressure as I go this direction so I can kind of fade it out. A little darker over here, especially against that line, against that edge. No outlines, no outlines, no outlines, no outlines. I want to make all those outlines go away. Now, this is this part right here is darker than I want it to be after I shade it in. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that line a little bit. Go ahead and erase this a little bit. There's, there's sort of a white line right there. So I'm going to, as I'm shading this in, I'm going to leave that white space if I can. It's a very delicate procedure here. In fact, the value here and the value here are almost the same except for that white edge. So I can make this a little darker. Take your time. Slowly build up those values. Remember, nothing in this picture is really white except for that, you know, and even this edge is not really white, but it's it's probably the lightest thing on the page. I'm going to erase this a little bit. It got too dark right there. In fact, I might just go ahead and erase, lightly erase all of this. It's going to be darker. There we go. Over here, it it looks like an outline, but it's not. I mean, it's just right there. And the reason it's there is because that's a shadow. I'm going to go ahead and kind of fill that in. Dark. But not because it's an outline, but because it's actually a shadow that's right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is how you do the project. I'm not going to do the whole thing in front of you here. I just want to give you a taste. I know a whole 13 minutes has gone by since I started this video. Um, but this is how to kind of give you what you need to know to get started and to do a good job on the practice sheet here. Thanks for watching.